the epidemic of opioid addiction has cost so many lives, careers, and devastated families, and the methods to attack opioid use disorder have changed with the times. In our latest look at the state of addiction, West Hughes Dave McDaniel looks at Orlando Health's team targeting the issue with compassion and science. I'm um, four months and one week sober. Sober and improving daily. Misty Moore's story is one repeated over and over. Hers was a car crash. I was in physical therapy for nine months and prescribed heavy opioids. Opioids that led to more than two decades of opioid use disorder until she landed in Orlando Health very sick. I had given up and she was my hope and um, I couldn't have done it without them. Personally it's important because I struggle with the same disease, opioid use disorder. She is Jamie Bridges, coordinator of Orlando Health's opioid substance abuse disorder team. I was injured uh, on several occasions on the job as a police officer and I went to the doctor, had surgery, was started on hydrocodone. I wanted to get back to work and the doctor said take this, you can go back to work and it just spiraled out of control. For people dealing with opioid issues, family support and counseling, enormously important. But now medication is becoming a larger part of successful treatment. We're um, using the medications that we know help people stop abusing opioids and getting them into recovery using medication-assisted treatment. Medication-assisted treatment is becoming more and more accessible due to state and federal support. Whether they have the insurance or they have money to pay for it, these grants are allowing access to people um, that maybe didn't have access before. As a police officer, I needed somebody to talk to, so I became that person. I became a licensed counselor. Success is sweet. It was because of Jamie and Chris. They would come in, they would cry with me, they would laugh with me, they gave me hope. Um, they made me see that I had a future and that it was worth fighting for. In Orlando, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. The substance use disorder treat team treated 1,000 people last year alone.